Welcome back to the Crypto World Channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now we are seeing a huge warning signal for Ethereum holders. I'll be covering all of these Ethereum charts later in this video, so definitely stick around all the way to the end of this video so that you're not missing out on any of this important information. And just before we jump into it, make sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, you might as well subscribe with notifications turned on so that you're not missing out on any of these future updates that are posted every single day. But with all of that out of the way, let's get straight into what this video is about. It's right here on the Ethereum to your solar charts on the four hour time frame, And what we have here is of course that bearish divergence that I warned you about two days ago now on the channel. And in that video that I posted two days ago right here, I basically said that it's very likely in the shorter term over the next couple of days, we could be due for reduced buying pressure, which means either sideways price action or a pullback is about to come next. And combined with the fact that we also saw a bearish cross in the four hour MACD, that was that second warning signal that I let you know about two days ago once again. But right now that has just about played out because we are running into some short term support here. And for as long as Ethereum can hold the prices it's at right now, without seeing a whole lot of bearish price action over the next 12 to 24 hours, then it's very likely we'll see a bullish cost in the four hour MACD coming soon. And the last time we saw that back here, we did end up seeing a little bit of buying power step into Ethereum. But remember, all of these signals that we see on this four hour chart are only in the shorter term, talking about the next few days, that sort of thing. Another pattern that's forming on the four hour Ethereum charts is this head and shoulders pattern. As you can see, we've already seen the left shoulder, we've already seen the head, and now we have formed the right shoulder. All we're waiting on now to confirm this pattern is a break below the neckline, which is coming in at just below 3.8k now, because obviously this neckline is a descending line of support. So right now it's coming in closer towards 3760. So for as long as the price of Ethereum is remaining above that level right there, we're actually still looking pretty good here, because as I just said, this pattern does not confirm while we're sitting above the neckline. But if we see a strong confirmed break below that neckline, then the technical price target for this pattern is coming in towards 3,000 US dollars. Now, obviously I'm not saying that's guaranteed to happen. That's just simply the technical price target for this pattern. If we do end up seeing a break below the neckline, which right now we haven't seen just yet. And now zooming out to the daily time frame for Ethereum to check out some other important levels. First of all, we've got this huge horizontal level of supports coming in at around 4,000 US dollars per Ethereum. And we actually just saw the first daily candle close below 4,000 since the end of October. But we found some major supports along the 120 day simple movement average coming in at almost exactly 3.8k. This is important because of two reasons. Of course, because of the neckline for this head and shoulders pattern. And also the 120 day SMA was exactly where the September correction bottomed out. So 3,800 US dollars is really an important level for Ethereum to hold because a break below 3.8k besides that head and shoulders pattern, even on this chart, of course, that would still be a bearish signal. And looking in the VPVR indicator, the next major cluster of volume is coming in at just above three and a half thousand US dollars, more specifically at around 3550. And that's just where the top of this volume cluster is coming in at. The biggest spike of volume just here is coming in at around 3.3k approximately. And this entire volume cluster really goes all the way down towards around 3000, which is that technical price target for this head and shoulders pattern. But once again, that only comes into play if we break below this neckline. And now zooming out to the weekly time frame for Ethereum and bringing out the weekly MACD. And what we're seeing right now is a bearish cross in the weekly MACD. D, which is obviously a bearish signal. But with that being said, it might not be as bearish as you might be thinking, because if we simply take a look at the last bearish cross that we see in the weekly MACD, that was back here at the very end of May, leading into the beginning of June. And looking at the corresponding price action at that bearish cross back there, by the time that we were actually seeing the bearish cross, we had already experienced a lot of bearish price action. And in fact, the worst of the bearish price action was already behind us by the time we were seeing that bearish cross in the weekly MACD. So after we saw the bearish cross in the weekly MACD, what happened next? Well, we actually experienced a lot of sideways consolidation, but keep in mind, it only looks like sideways consolidation on the weekly chart. When you're taking a look at that price action zoomed all the way into the four hour chart, you can see here that that price action was actually a lot of volatility. So if you're looking on the smaller timeframes, get prepared for some more volatility. But on the larger timeframes, like the weekly chart, for example, it's most likely we're going to experience some sort of sideways consolidation, possibly after one more leg to the downside, if we break 3.8K, but we'll just have to wait and see for that. But another bearish signal on the weekly time frame is of course this bearish divergence. Now with this bearish divergence, you kind of have to ignore this high just here because if you're looking at that high just there, we actually didn't form a bearish divergence at all on the weekly chart. So you really have to be looking at this chart through the eyes of a bear. But anyway, what we can see here is technically we've seen one month worth of price action after the bearish divergence formed. And taking a look at the last bearish divergence that we saw on the weekly chart for Ethereum, that was between this high back in February and this high back in May. And immediately, 
after we saw that bearish divergence. For the next couple of weeks, we did experience quite a bit of bearish price action, exactly like what we've already experienced over the past couple of weeks. But once again, right now, we are about one month after the bearish divergence technically formed. So looking at about one month after this bearish divergence formed, once again, that was down here after we already experienced a lot of bearish price action and when we were basically in that huge sideways consolidation. Now, obviously, it's important to mention that this pullback is definitely not the same as the May crash. So things can play out differently, but this is just something to keep an eye on moving forward. And something else to keep an eye on is the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart on the two day time frame. What we have here is obviously that breakout to the upside that I've been covering for a couple of weeks now on the channel. But for the last three to four days, I've been letting you know that it's very likely we're about to experience a bit of a short term cool off for Ethereum against Bitcoin, simply because the RSI was reaching into overbought territories on the daily chart and the two day chart. And now that's exactly what's playing out. We are seeing that short term cool off as expected and the RSI is coming back out of overbought territory and back into neutral areas. And so it's just important for Ethereum to remain above this level just here, coming in at around 0.076 Bitcoin per Ethereum in order to keep the price target for this pattern valid. Because obviously if we break back below that level that I just mentioned, we would invalidate the price target. And by the way, the technical price target for this pattern is coming in towards 0.1 Bitcoin per Ethereum. And for extra real-time updates throughout the day, make sure you follow me over on my Twitter and the link to my official Twitter account is in the description down below and also in the pinned comments. If you enjoyed this video or got something valuable out of it, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. As always, I appreciate every single one of you here on the channel. I can't thank you guys enough. And before you click off, especially for the new viewers on the channel, make sure you're checking out one of these uploads if you haven't already. In the bottom left, I've got a passive income video showing you how I earn passive income every day on my crypto holdings. And in the top left, I've got a Bybit tutorial video. By the way, right now, Bybit is offering a $4,100 bonus. And so if you want to claim that bonus, check out the second link in the description and the second link in the pinned comment. But anyway, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.